umpires is that you have to understand the principles of error balancing. Um, what you discover very quickly when you participate in a forecasting tournament is that you're continually at risk of making opposing errors. Uh, there's the error of over-adjusting to new evidence and showing excessive volatility, being too chunky. Uh, and then there's the error of sticking too rigidly to your preconceptions, not changing your mind enough. Um, it turns out people make both errors. Uh, and when you, the only way you can learn to balance this is to practice in forecasting tournaments. Um, you're never going to get it right perfectly, but you're going to become much more deeply sensitized. It's going to become part of your cognitive apparatus that both errors are possible, and you'll just almost automatically think about the possibility of each error and balance them in your head. Um, same thing for underconfidence versus overconfidence, and same thing for overpredicting change and underpredicting change. Uh, the key here is just get, is getting on the bicycle and riding. Uh, and there's, there's no way that someone can stand up at a podium and tell you, give you abstract knowledge about cognitive research on errors and biases and you, and you can gain the same benefits that you would gain from actually participating in forecasting tournaments. Um, it, it, the, the philosopher Polanyi likes, to, like, you use the analogy of trying to teach someone how to ride a bicycle by giving them a textbook on Newtonian mechanics and say, you know, this is how you balance the centrifugal force and the blah, 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 blah. Um, you're not going to learn how to ride a bicycle that way. You're not going to learn how to do well in forecasting tournaments without getting in the habit of making explicit probability judgments, getting feedback from those, and learning from experience. It's a deep, it's, it is a quite deeply experiential process.